I like this track that's playing here. Pretty cool. All right, so we are in the cave that was that was in just a little beyond the village. And don't be surprised if we suddenly get stuck. It's a locked door. It's sealed. Sealed by music. Do we need to play Beethoven or something? Hmm, no idea. But it doesn't seem like we can do much. The door is sealed and we cannot open it. It's almost like we are missing some kind of an item. Could it be? Well, we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Whenever money shows up, I suggest you pick it up before it actually hits the ground, because once it does, it starts bouncing all over the place. That is very annoying because it, sometimes it bounces over to you, which is okay. It's kind of easier to catch it that way, but if it starts bouncing away from you, well, you're gonna have a bit of trouble catching the money then. And it will disappear after a while. You don't want that. Money is important in this game, just like in any other game similar to this. Or at least in a similar genre. You want all the money you can get. Farming is strongly recommended. But don't farm on the weak enemies like I am right now, because... This is not a very good place to farm money. It's good enough for now, but not good later. Oh, here's an inn by the way. You can sleep here, which will restore your health completely for a price. It also saves your game, which is kind of a neat feature actually. You should probably consider doing that before we move on. Welcome to my inn. You can have a good night's rest for 10 gold. Will you be staying overnight? Yes. Do you wish to save your adventure? Yes. Your game is saved. If you die now and get a game over, you will be able to choose continue instead of new game. This will allow you to return to the last place where you slept, like to the last inn you stayed overnight and saved your game in. Kinda like a save, uh, f uh, save state feature, but don't be surprised if you see sta save states being used in this playthrough. Some places can get a little difficult. And this is technically my second playthrough. Will you be continuing your journey in the morning? Yes. Good night and pleasant dreams. Alright. Good morning, did you sleep well? Good luck to you on your journey! The monsters do not respawn if if you kill them, I think. We'll find out soon enough if I kill this guy, if he's gonna show up. Yeah, he did show up. Okay, so they do respawn. But they only re you'll only notice that monsters spawn in this particular village and only for a bit until we clear out the cave. Which is good. Normally the villages tend to be clear of the monster invasions. And it's a good thing. You want to go to the villages to rest up and restock. Not to fight even more monsters and risk getting killed. Only this village has it. That you have to fight monsters. But it's okay actually, because these monsters are very weak. Let's see. You need the ocarina to open the cave doors. But I lost it. Fuck! Somewhere inside the cave. Oh, never mind. That, that's not much of a fuck now, is it? Well, you know what needs to be done then. We have to go to the cave again. Because something just might have showed up now. I like these mushrooms. They're so fucking retarded. But seriously, who the hell came up with this uh, design for the mushroom guys? It looks so silly. You know, I just remembered something. This... When I first uh, turned this on, 
I thought to myself that this reminds me a lot of fa Fatal Labyrinth, actually. <laughs> Mainly because of the choice of enemies and the fact that you have to change weapons as you go along, but... When I think about it, it has more of that Legend of Zelda feel like I mentioned. But it still has some elements of Fatal Labyrinth. Look at this! This wasn't here before. Oh, it's the Ocarina. Yes, indeed. You should put it in your right slot for now. We'll figure out what it's good for soon enough. But basically, you need to go to the cave first, then you talk with Sonya. She'll tell you that she lost the Ocarina. You have to talk with uh, the Queen first, of course, to get the idea to go to the cave in the first place. And once Sonya tells you about the Ocarina, you go back to the cave and pick it up. Now you go back to Sonya. It just so happens coincidentally that she's also pretty good with that instrument. And it's not just on an enthusiast level, which is usually amateur. Oh, it's the Ocarina! Yeah, that's what I said too. You went there to look for it, didn't you? Yes. The melody of the Ocarina may help to break the seals. Well, I hope not the seals that I'm thinking of. Let's practice. This is the melody for the first door. Give it a shot! And you have to press the buttons too. You better memorize those buttons, by the way. Alright, A, B, C, B, C, A, B. There you go. That's very good. The last melody opens the final door. A cab. <laughs> The last melody. All cops are bastards. Well, that'll definitely open up the doors. <laughs> Play these melodies whenever you're in the cave. Now don't worry, I have these uh, written down. I actually noticed that they are the exact same as on the previous playthrough. So I'm guessing they don't really change over playthroughs. Which is good. Randomization isn't exactly my favorite thing. I really don't like uh, randomly generated things, you know? It's such an annoying thing. Like, uh, that's the sole reason why I hate FTL so much. It's too random for my taste. As a game on its own, it's pretty good, but the RNG of that, of that game is too fucking ridiculous for my taste. Like, you can easily die on the first fucking world. Or even better, you can just end up not meeting any enemies ever. Which is shit. I don't like that kind of randomization. I like more predictability. Some randomization is good, but at the level FTL has it, it's too much. Right, this is the first door. You have to stand on this particular platform. Then you hold A. And then you press right. You pull out the ocarina. Now you play music. Ah, shit. I missed... I was supposed to press B at the end. The melody isn't quite right, so try again. Shion, plays the ocarina. You play beautifully! And this breaks the first seal. Lovely. We can actually make progress. You cannot jump down from platforms, by the way, with the usual thing, like holding down and pressing jump, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> You'll find out why soon enough. Ah, uh, shit. Well, I do remember the third seal, but for this one, I'll have to make a quick cut to check on my list, so cut! And welcome back. 
I checked the list. Let us play the ocarina. A, B, C, B, C, B, A. Shit. You also gotta press it kind of fast, cause if you hold- if you wait a little too long, it's gonna act like, oh, you finished your melody, and that's not gonna be good enough. Ah, no. I, I'm pressing the wrong button. You play beautifully! Yeah, boy. And we progress even more. I, I think the last uh, seal is the best to remember. Just remember, all cops are bastards. You'll remember the, the solution for the last seal easily then. Even though it's not exactly true, well, not all cops are bastards. Just the majority of them that like to act tough. Well, you know what I mean. I personally haven't met any bastard cops, so I can't really vouch for that, but... That is the solution to the last seal. And we found a heart container! Your max health increases with each new heart container by one heart. And it can fit more hearts than it's, uh, it may seem at first, so don't worry. Last seal, boys! Do you remember the combination? All cops are bastards! Yes! We did it! We played beautifully! Oh! What is this? What is this? If you jump exactly at this location, you will find two hearts to heal yourself up with. Consider this uh, as a useful hint, because now we are entering a boss dungeon. Who is our enemy? The m the m uh, is that a C? Mikonid. Uh, yeah, let's just call it that. Stab the fucking shit out of this bastard, and don't worry, he's not very strong. He'll he won't really kill you, but he likes to summon little buddies whenever he's in trouble. And now he's dead. He shits money. Pick up all of the money and open up the chest. You'll get Firestorm. Get the fuck out of here, bitch! Give me something useful! <laughs> Fucking bastard. But no, really, actually, Firestorm is useful. Whenever you get more Firestorm, you get more charges. Right now, I think I have maximum charges available for Firestorm, which is 6 charges. It's, it's good. It's not a very good spell, but it's good enough for what it does. And then whenever you beat the boss, you will be granted a quick exit out of the dungeon. Man, I didn't even appear next to the dungeon. <laughs> I just appeared somewhere close to entering the village. Holy shit. But now I'm rolling in dash, so we might as well farm a little bit more. Just to even the numbers. Besides, these bastards have a lot of money. And they are evil monsters that must be eradicated. So, might as well do what we must. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Who could have thought that a suggestion from somebody would actually be a good thing? I didn't really think that this game would be pretty good. But, well, I like to be proven wrong. So if you ever think you know that there's a good game that we should all play, well, throw it out in the comment section, so I'll check it out. If it's good, I'll play it. For the channel, that is. Queen Eleonora was calling for you earlier. Why don't you pay her a visit? Why, why, well, why don't we, actually? Why don't we? Hello, you. Thanks to you, the village is saved. Keep the ocarina. It might come in handy. I think you can play the ocarina for her. Oh yeah. Oh, that sounds lovely! 
but uh, for some reason you do not have to put in any input for that uh, se for that sequence. It just plays on its own. Uh, don't look at that hole yet. Thank you so much. Alcedo is once more a peaceful village of lesbians. Go beyond the large tree and you'll reach Purapril. You mean the castle that was locked up? If you're ever in need of help of any kind, come and see me. I'm forever in your debt. Then she gives you Priscilla for no good fucking reason because you lose her very, very quickly actually. Now before you go down this ladder, check here. Money! It's raining money! Well, it stopped. <laughs> kind of a money drought when you think about it, but that's good enough. That looks like a, like a crack. Maybe we can check it out with somebody else later on. Now we are on our way to Purapril Castle. And as you can see, Priscilla's already gone, that fucking bit. <laughs> Whatever. We encounter now new enemies. The bat. It's annoying. But, but, I have s just the right solution for your needs. You see, you have a spear at this moment. You might have switched out to a sword, but if you, do if you still have a spear, switch back to it and do what I'm gonna do right now. When you walk up close to the bat, hold up and push B. You start spinning the spear, which acts not only as a weapon, but also as a shield against projectiles. Which is amazing, the bats fly into this impenetrable wall of death and fucking get shanked. Which is lovely. The bats also have a pretty high rate of heart drops. We seem to be respawning infinitely, so let's not dawdle around for too long. Oh no! The balls! The balls are attacking! We must escape from the ball menace. Shit. I accidentally turned around. <laughs> Got my ass beaten up a bit by the bat. Shit. Fucking balls. Fucking balls are trying to kill me. What did I ever do to you balls? It didn't get laid enough. <laughs> Shit. Now that I think about it, those balls are red from being fucking unused. <laughs> Can you imagine the kind of madness that could be happening in one's pants? Fucking red balls. I don't even want to imagine. Blue balls is bad enough. Now red balls? Shit. The balls in the water are a little bit more annoying than the regular balls. I suggest not to fuck around with them for too long. Mostly because you cannot swim for shit at the moment. For some reason you can uh, float, even though you have... Oh, I don't know. Fucking suit of armor? That must wait quite a bit. There is no reason to go down there yet. Yeah, unless you want to grind a bit of money. But there are better places. Oi! Don't touch me. I suggest you better grind a bit on the bats. Since they drop a lot of hearts, you want to do that because we're coming up on a mini boss. And I would strongly recommend that you go in with full HP. The mini boss uh, is not exactly an easy one. He's more difficult than the Mykonid. Here he is! Shoot your fireballs! Die, fiend! You bitch! Okay, there are the firestorm. We'll have to fight him legitimately now. I have no good strategy for this guy, actually. 
Like, he has a fucking shield and a suit of armor. He's very difficult to attack. He blocks nearly all the fucking time. But if you do it like me, spam fireballs and then do some bullshit, you might actually be able to kill him without using up an elixir. I had been taken prisoner by the monsters. Please, come to the castle hall. I'd like to thank you. Can't you do that here? In privacy? Must be an exhibitionist or something. Oh well. <laughs>